So I'm guessing you've seen the reviews of this movie by now, and they're mostly negative. So I'm here to defend it. But don't just click off yet. At least leave a like and subscribe first, then watch the rest. Please and thank you. When I heard that Mulan was going to be PG-13 and not have Mushu in it, I for one was excited. Finally, a more grounded and realistic take on the move. What the what? S since since when? <laughs> Let's try this again. This movie starts off with young Mulan showing off her cool CGI moves. Then we get to this totally realistic female villain and her man Bogey. I think a female villain would be perfect for the story. Oh, she dies. Well, shoot. After this whole magical ordeal, we get to see Mulan and the matchmaker. My favorite scene in the whole movie. Because the mustache part is not in the movie. You are a disgrace! We get the whole we need soldiers part, and Milan takes over her father and brings this honor, and she gets lost. No worries. Mushu to the rescue. That's not Mushu. We get the whole training montage, and Milan refuses to take a shower. You should really consider skipping guard duty and taking a shower. <laughs> you stink, my friend. Then the first battle for China. Mulan leaves during the battle to fight the main antagonist. Okay. Well, this battle. Oh, she's dead. Or is she? Hey, Mushu. So she goes back into battle but reveals she's a girl for no reason. Wait, what? Already? Well, that was fast. Well, this movie has poor pacing. You're probably guessing what happens next. She causes an avalanche, gets fired because Bubes talks to the main antagonist. Warns army and wins their trust and they infiltrate. Okay, what's next? Right. So she meets the main antagonist one more time and she dips. Pussy, 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 pussy. So Milan chases her and we meet the main antagonist. Wait, did I read that right? Yep. So Ida the Owl Lady dies and Milan uses Chico's to kill him. She gets honor, yada yada yada, the end. So let's talk about the plot. It's recycled. Next. The characters. Mulan is very static. She doesn't have any character development whatsoever. And she uses chi codes the entire time. They call it her chi. More like cheat codes. Am I right? You already said that. Shut up. She doesn't really learn any lessons here or become a better version of herself. She's just, I have Chi, the owl lady that can shapeshift and stuff. I was so excited when I saw her in the trailer. An antagonist that foils Mulan? Perfect. Oh, she's dead. The guy that runs on walls. I don't recall him saying anything. Next, Mulan's sister. She is afraid of spiders. That's it. Next, the guy that likes her. I'm sorry, dude, but you got Worse than friend zone. You got left on red. <laughs> the matchmaker. She lost all of her charm. Next. Mulan's papa. Eh, he's alright. The lucky guy. I love the irony here. I'll give you that, Disney. Everyone else. Static. Boring. Except for this one. He's funny. But in all seriousness though, no one had any character development. It's almost like they just wanted a Mulan movie and just made it. So the good stuff about this movie, after all I did say I was going to defend the movie, right? It had a digital release that was a hefty $30 plus Disney plus. The production looks really great, it looks like a well built movie. And it got a lot of people talking, but not for the right reasons. And it made the animated one feel 10 times better. I give this movie a man. You guys want to check out my own animations? You can click this card up here or any of these two right here. And don't forget to subscribe and share it to your friends. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.